charismatic figure to this day, Michael Collins was Chief of Staff of the Free State Forces during the Civil War and regarded as a brilliant military strategist. Several films and reconstructions have been made about the ambush which claimed his life. It happened in August 1922 at Bailnam in County Cork. Now an internal IRA document unseen up to recently and written two days after the ambush shows that the shooting happened somewhat by chance. And they described very clearly the um, operation on the day to try and ambush his touring party which initially doesn't look like it's going to come off and then as far as the ambushers are concerned they get lucky and the Collins convoy returns and a small number of them open fire on it. The internal document is published in a new book on the IRA. It suggests Collins was not killed by one of his senior officers or by one of his own gunners. People seem to want to cling to conspiracy theories because Emmett Dalton had been a former British officer, which was not at all unique in the IRA at the time. I mean, there were several former British soldiers involved in it. But actually, I mean, the IRA report makes clear that Collins had made himself very prominent while on the tour. Very, very dangerous and indeed a very naive decision to take part in that kind of, of tour of an area in which the anti-treaty IRA were very active. For decades, this first-hand account of the death of Michael Collins was hidden in the papers of the former IRA Chief of Staff, Moss Toomey. But those papers were donated to UCD about a decade ago. Joe O'Brien, RTE News, Drumcon.